Hey everybody, welcome back. I just want to talk about my experience with um, learning more about nutrition this year since I've been on this Weight Watchers diet program. And uh, there is a lot of misinformation out there. I think that we, I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I had known about this years ago, a lot of extra pounds. And I think the reason a lot of people can't lose weight is because of um, that they're just, I think they're eating foods that they don't realize that they're as bad for them as they are. There's just a lot of misinformation out there about um you know, there are certain foods that are bad for you, but they tell you that they're good. And then there's other food, like, I you know, like eggs, for example, but at least back in the 80s and then even the 90s, they used to say no more than four eggs a week, but now they're getting promoted as a health food. It depends on the uh, preparation, preparation method, too, if you're using butter or oil, if you're not, if you're just hard boiling them. And the same goes for, you know, meats fish things like that you know fish is a health food but if you're cooking it in butter or oil deep frying it then it's definitely not as good for you as it would be if you grilled it or broiled it in the oven they just baked it plain with some seasoning so i was going to talk about i knew the cheese wasn't really a health food but i didn't realize it was as bad for you as it is now maybe low-fat cheese or fat-free cheese would be okay but regular um like sharp cheddar cheese, just as an example, from what I read is that uh, the same amount of sharp cheddar cheese, or regular cheddar cheese, full fat cheddar cheese, it has like the same amount of saturated fat as the same uh, piece, same size piece of prime rib, for example. So I realized that, and that goes along with uh, beef, red meat. For example. I knew that that wasn't necessarily health food, but I didn't realize that red meat is as bad for you as it is. So I've been keeping that in definitely in moderation, cutting my portions. And next thing is milk. And I know back in the 80s, they used to have all those commercials saying that, oh, milk does a body good. And uh, now it's, um, I mean, it just, it's, it's good for calcium and things like that. But that's another thing that's got a lot of, even a lot of stuff. Uh, it's got a little bit of sugar in it, too, which I didn't know about, and also saturated fat. Even um, one, I guess, skim milk is probably the best milk that you could drink, but yeah, even 1% has a little bit of fat, a little bit of sugar in it. I drink, I can't drink skim or 1%. I drink 2%, but I just drink it in moderation. And nuts were always promoted. I guess I heard that they do have uh, sat fat in them, but I thought it was the omega, it does have the omega-3 fat, the fat that you want, but it turns out that you're not supposed to have too many nuts because that could be a detriment to your waistline. I, usually, um, I like nuts, but I can only handle a little bit of them anyways. I eat, I always kind of eat those in moderation. I really don't care for nuts just by, by themselves. I usually prefer them to be in like salads or other, other you know, mixed in with other things, salad dressings like a you know, walnut vinaigrette or things like that, desserts. Uh, you know, on top of cheesecake is pretty good, but yeah, I've never, never really wanted to eat nuts by themselves. I think that's kind of boring. I like them with something, like in a salad, for example, or on, like turtle cheesecake on top of cheesecake. Uh, soup, you know, it depends on what kind of soup it is. Obviously, the creamy soups, like cream of broccoli or cheese broccoli, is not as healthy as chicken noodle. I knew that, but I just thought, oh, I'm eating soup. It's good for you, but not necessarily even... um chicken noodle soup you gotta watch because of the noodles and the carbs in there you got the pasta you gotta watch how much of uh soup like that did you eat salads for example i thought oh i'm eating a salad it's good you know if you have um light dressing it's good but if you you're drowning it with dressing you're drowning it with cheese or croutons or bacon then you're making something that could be potentially uh, something that's supposed to be healthy potentially unhealthy for you so i've learned a lot about salads in that respect i'm uh watching my toppings and having just do a little bit of light dressing trying to eat the healthier dressings like the vinaigrettes but i'm still keeping it with the salad portion that i have i have like maybe three tablespoons of salad dressing so keeping that and just trying to i used to drown my salads in salad dressing now i'm keeping those the dressings in moderation not too much just a light toss not a heavy toss Yogurt. Um, I thought I was, oh, I'm eating low-fat yogurt. It's good for me, but uh, the low-fat yogurt to compensate for the, because um, of the lower fat, a lot of those low-fat yogurts, they they replace that fat with sugar. So a lot of low-fat yogurts have a lot of sugar in them. That's something I didn't know about. And cereal, too, a lot of sugar. 
mostly is just children that eat cereal. Uh, adults don't really eat, as far as my experience, adults don't really eat too much cereal. I don't eat too much of it, and that's probably a good thing. I didn't realize how much hidden sugar is in cereal, and that might be one of the reasons kids are so wound up, at least at the school I work at. They're big cereal eaters. It kind of goes along with cereal, but granola. I love granola and my yogurt, but I've been uh, making like low fat, buying low fat granola, and that could be, you have a lot of hidden sugar in it too, and fat, uh, butter. Usually granola has butter in it. Fruit juice, which uh, has a lot of added sugar, uh, lemonade, that sort of thing, punch. I thought, oh, this is, comes from a fruit, it's fruit, it's good for you, but it has a lot of added sugar. A lot of fruit juices have like almost like 30 grams of sugar in a serving. Um, next one is bread. Now, I knew bread, and I know it's a carb, I know it's not the healthiest thing in the world for you, but someone told me that eating like bread could be just as bad as like eating raw sugar. So, Weight Watchers, uh, I've been eating a lot of sandwiches, a lot of peanut butter and jellies, but I've been buying the four good white bread, 45 calorie, um, and it's 45 calories for one slice, 90 calories for two slices, and only uh, one point each as opposed to regular white bread, which is two points each, so four, so that's uh, doubling up on the points right there, especially those sweet breads like banana bread and banana nut bread, you add in the sugar, the nuts, or, you know, cream cheese. I put cream cheese in my banana bread. It's one of my favorite breads, but I'm definitely going to be watching that now, eating that in moderation. <laughs> putting the, you know, just eating a little bit here and there, putting the majority of it in the freezer and just cutting it up in slices, just pulling it out when I get a craving. Olive oil, <laughs> uh, or any kind of an oil. I thought oil was better than butter, but it uh, turns out even, even extra virgin olive oil, it can be just as bad as butter. I had no idea. I thought extra virgin olive oil was a health food, but not necessarily. Next one, which I really don't care for, is dried fruit. And um not a fan of that. Um, raisins, things like that. Um, they like those trail mixes. I don't get off on that. Um, I guess because of the the drying process, I don't know if they add sugar to that, but it, it I guess if the fruit gets caramelized, it brings out more of the sugar in it. So we had a dried fruit, which I really don't care for, the texture, and it does taste, now that I think about it, it does taste kind of, raisins do taste really sugary. So, uh, yeah, dried fruit isn't really the best thing in the world for you because of the sugar, but yeah, I've never cared for dried fruit that much to begin with. It, it does kind of taste like eating a mouthful of sugar and don't really care for the texture. And even you know, sun-dried tomatoes, but I don't really care for that kind of texture, sun-dried tomatoes. Um, next one is ice cream. I knew that wasn't necessarily health food, but I didn't realize that was as bad for you as it is with all the hidden sugar and the cream that goes into their milk. You know, even it's a little healthy, even frozen yogurt probably isn't the best thing in the world for you because of the hidden sugar. Honey. <laughs> Honey's got a lot of added sugar in there, so honey isn't. I always think honey is a health food, but ne not necessarily. Ketchup also has a lot of hidden sugar in there. I tried a uh, low-fat or, or, or um, what was it? oh yeah, sugar-free ketchup, and I wasn't really a fan. I couldn't eat that. I wasn't really a fan of that. Uh, I think everybody knows that ketchup has a lot of hidden salt in there. If you're so conscious, self-conscious about your you're watching your sodium, but also has a lot of hidden sugar ketchup, so I've been eating that in moderation. And I think I talked about beef already, going along with the cheese, yeah, beef and red meat in general. I didn't realize how high in saturated fat that is, especially ground beef. I uh, have been trying it. It's such a, I can't eat a hamburger like that. I have to have the 80-20, um, like the 80% um, or the 20% fat, 80% lean for hamburgers. I tried making hamburgers with 95% lean beef or 96% lean beef, only 4%, 5% fat, but it was just too dry and not a lot of flavor. But something like chili or tacos, I can definitely use that um, for 96% beef. And it doesn't, because uh, it's, you know, there's other ingredients with it. It kind of disguises the, it makes up for the loss of flavor. So, because I made tacos the other night with uh, 4% fat beef, ground beef, and uh, I think I made chili too, with like 95% lean beef, 5% fat. And then the last one is dark chocolate. I thought dark dark chocolate is health food and is better than regular chocolate, but even dark chocolate still isn't really the best thing in the world for you. But um, 
yeah, that's all I could think of. That's all I have. And um, definitely came as a surprise. I wish I knew again. I wish I knew then what I know now. But uh, now I'm watching my uh, food, trying to keep. I'm still eating. Not really cutting anything out, but uh, you know the foods that aren't as healthy. I'm just uh, Weight Watchers is uh, basically a god. With uh, they assign. You know, you can find pretty much anything. They have points assigned to everything, so you know how healthy or how bad it is for you. And uh, if I do eat something unhealthy, like even if it's a candy bar, uh, yeah, even like a snick, a fun size Snickers bar is like four points, which is, so God knows what a regular size Snickers bar is. I didn't realize, you know, how bad some of the foods I was eating were, how bad they really were for me. And um, I'm making progress. Uh, yeah, I was uh, with eating all those unhealthy food to on all eating all those unhealthy foods too high uh, of a portion. It definitely was a detriment detriment to me, and uh, I paid the price for it. I'm still paying the price for it. I still got another 50 pounds to lose, but um, I'm glad I know now what I know now, and uh, I'm sticking to it and just just eating more healthy foods, less unhealthy foods, and the point system definitely helps me to uh, you know figure out what I should be doing and how to control my portions. So yeah, that's all I have on that. Uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Talk to you all soon with another interesting video. Comment, like, share, subscribe. See you later. Bye.